Next up, Julian's back to talk about one of our exciting sustainability partnerships. And we also have Eva Peterson via link from SSAB to talk about their vital role. Um, so first off, if, if I can just ask you, Eva, if you can give us a quick introduction to SSAB and how you include circularity in your company. Uh, SSAB is a steel producer and we produce steel from recycling uh, in North America, but we also have big production sites in Sweden and Finland based on iron ore. So we are, we are on both kind of ways of, of producing steel. Uh, now steel is a fantastic material, recyclable 100%, and today this, this opportunity for steel is, is, is used on a wide scope. I think 85% worldwide is, is recycled. Still, there's not enough recycled material to fill the demand. 25% about now uh, can be of the demand can be filled by rec with, with recycled steel. The prediction is that by 2050, it will be a 50-50. So we think that our role is very important in Produce, still produce in a sustainable way with a fantastic fossil-free breakthrough technology that we've been working on and, and talked about together with Alfa Laval before, but also making our recycled steel uh, production sites uh, fossil-free, using fossil-free electricity, uh, fossil-free fuels, uh, and, and so on. So I think... I think I think we are. I, I have the best job. I think it's it's fantastic the transition we're doing. I think uh, partnerships is is really what we need. The hybrid technology doing uh, fossil free product iron ore we do together with LKB and Vattenfall and all of the ambitions that we have. We need our customers as partners. So I'm I'm very happy about the partnership with Alfa Laval and and now that we're taking a, the next step in that partnership. So Julian, where does Alpha Laval come into the picture here? Well, uh, Lily, we are very excited by the partnership with SSAB, which was formed uh, a bit more than a year ago now, um, mm -hmm. uh, with the target to um, uh, secure the supply of fossil free for the manufacturing of some of the Alpha Laval products. Uh, this is part of our um, commitment to carbon neutrality by 2030. Uh, just to give you a number, um, fossil free carbon steel on a total plate edition you will reduce the total CO2 footprint by up to 40% uh, of the total CO2 embedded into our product. So it's a major contribution uh, in this journey. Uh, what we are announcing uh, now is uh, the supply of SSAB0, which is recycled based uh, carbon steel, which offers the same level of CO2 reduction. Uh, as um, the technology of fossil free steel, uh, but is available now and will enable the delivery of the first product already in 2023. So together with SSAB, uh, we will drive the demand uh, across sectors uh, that we are serving with our plate heat exchangers, whether being HVAC, process and food industries, or marine, and so many other sectors that we are supplying. Traditionally, in these net zero launch events, uh, we are showing the way, we are talking the walk. Here, by this partnership, uh, we are really uh, walking the talk. So uh, this is very exciting. Yeah, absolutely. So, Eva, if I can ask you, how is it even possible that we can make fossil fuel steel today? Yes, as I, as I talked about the fossil free steel from iron ore, that is still in the research phase, and and that product is very interesting, and we're we're studying it uh, uh, very thoroughly right now. But that will be available by 2026 when we have transitioned, our uh, started to transition our, our Nordic system. But already today, we have the recycled steel production in the U.S. And by by having fossil free electricity, as I mentioned before, and also fossil fuels, both external and internal transport, and all of the uh, and all of the furnaces that we have, we actually have been able to, with third party third party verification, uh, 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 recycle steel with no fossil emissions in the production and we're very proud of that and and uh, and that product is in small amounts still uh, but available right now and i and i second that we need to be and we have the opportunity to be the leader in this transition and and show that it's possible and that is interesting uh, uh, for for also the customers alpha level customers mm -hmm. Great. And what does the future look like for the steel industry? 
when we started to talk about fossil free, I mean, steel is steel in, in the way that we produce steel from iron ore today uh, with, with the chemical reaction that needs to take place in the old way and the existing way of doing it. Steel industry stands for 7% of world emission of CO2. 10% in Sweden is my company uh, uh, um, responsible for. So the steel industry needs to do something different. And I think that we have the possibility to do that in Sweden. We have the, the strong partnerships with the, the or the, the, the fossil free electricity. We have the strong partnerships that hold the value the value chain. I mean this partnership is 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 an example of that also. So I think we in the Nordics uh, we can be and and, uh, and and show the way. And that is really that's really important to show that it's possible. And 2016, when we started to talk about this, uh, the, the other steel companies thought that it was kind of, um, it's impossible, but now we've shown it that it's possible and, and many others are following. And I think that's the way, I think that's the way. And I'm super proud of my company. I'm super proud of, of the partnerships and, and uh, we're saving the planet. Thank you both. What an exciting way to wrap up the event. 